Hey everyone, I just wanted to do a quick video just covering the basics and some strategy for Death Must Die. So to begin with, you start off with Averon, he's a knight. Uh, just immediately go into the water and that'll start the map. Uh, currently there's only one map to choose from, but you'll very quickly unlock new characters. And to change the character, you just walk to the campfire, press the E key, and then you can choose. Uh, so far there's only five characters, but you'll unlock various abilities here. Just uh, choose what you want, hit select. Uh, one tip for the shopkeeper, uh, just click the middle mouse button to quickly sell your items. It tells you at the bottom there, but I, I didn't read it for the longest time. But eventually in the game, you'll unlock the Star Crux. So go there, press E. And this is how you can change the map. Uh, right now there's just one. But it also increases the item rarity of the drops. So I just maxed it out. It's going to make it everything a lot more difficult. But I noticed right away I was finding much better gear just by maxing the difficulty out. I think that's it for this map. Let's just go into the game. Okay, avoid using auto attack because when you're attacking, you move a lot slower. And you want to go after these yellow uh, dots there. Just constantly keep moving and going to these things, see what you find. You'll get some temporary boost. It'll show a symbol above your head. And then other benefits will be permanent uh, for this map or this run. And you can find like uh, items and things like that. Just uh, level up here. How go? So you can only choose for a maximum of three gods per run plus fate. But if you don't want uh, like chain lightning, look over here. Now to begin with, I don't think you get any of these things. Uh, these benefits come from your gear. So I've got three dice for banish, uh, six for reroll, and four for alteration. So if I don't want this god right now, I can click on the alteration. Uh, Lady Justice is really good to choose from. This is where you get like additional armor, you get uh, regen for your health, and there's a bunch of great abilities. If I don't like what's here, or if I don't like Celestial Wings, which I think is actually pretty decent, I can just banish that card. So it's not going to show up the next time. And I'll go with uh, Purification here. Uh, I recommend getting either Lady Justice or Death's Daughter, or even both. Uh, both that's where you get your heals. Uh, Death's Daughter has one heal, where it drains the enemy of their life and you get some of that. And then Lady Justice has a lot of things for your health. Another good one is Time. You'll get a lot of experience bonuses, so you can level up a whole lot faster. And then any, what, anything else, like the main thing I would say, get either Lady Justice or Death's Daughter or both, and then choose whatever else that you like. Okay, let's press B here. So my main attack, I click the left mouse button. Uh, for this character, it's a, it's a fireball or whatever. Other characters, it's your sword. That's your main attack stuff over here. So if you get uh, increased attack speed or attack damage, that's going to be your main attack. The increased spell damage that comes from the god blessings, your dashes, summons, item spells, and non-attack abilities. That's what your spell damage influences. It's pretty straightforward. Yeah, so that's about it. It's a, it's a fairly straightforward game once you just co you uh, understand the basics of it. Uh, some people were struggling. I think they just weren't having uh, choosing the right gods to begin with. And then when you die, you know, you get some points and you just rinse and repeat. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hit the like button and we'll see you on the next video.